Whether you work in a large organization or just a small team, no doubt you're concerned with storing, managing, and collaborating on your design data. And it's tricky because SolidWorks parts, assemblies, drawings, and other supporting documents, they're all linked. Consumer cloud storage apps don't know how to handle that. Maybe the investment in SolidWorks PDM and Manage isn't right for you. There is another way. When you connect SolidWorks to the 3D Experience platform, cloud data management is just a few clicks away. Eric Engineer and Debbie Designer are part of the team working on the Nemo Submersible. They are on a tight deadline to finish up the hatch design. Eric puts the finishing touches on the latch mount by inserting fasteners from SolidWorks Toolbox. A quick check on the assembly drawing and everything is up to date and ready to save to the cloud. First, he logs into the 3D Experience platform. It's his team's secure connection to the cloud. Right from the task pane, he sees the status of his work. These indicators show which components need to be saved. As for the hardware and other standard parts, SolidWorks is configured to automatically catalog and release these items so all users can access their shared libraries online. The Save dialog shows exactly which items require an update. He can also assign any item to a bookmark, such as related drawing files. Out of a long list of components like this, bookmarks are a convenient way to flag them for easy access. Only the new or changed items need to be uploaded to the cloud. This makes efficient use of network bandwidth, but still ensures everything is up to date. As the leader of his team, Eric is able to release his own designs. Easy to use lifecycle operations like this help the team avoid accidental overwrites. Switching over to his bookmarks tab, he sets the related part and assembly drawings to released. It's just two drawings for now, but as the detailing work continues, the bookmark will keep everything organized for quick access. That includes any other supporting documents, like this PDF instruction sheet and the related SOLIDWORKS composer file. Most document types can be previewed interactively within the SOLIDWORKS task pane. No need to launch external viewing apps. Eric has a backlog of finished designs that also need uploaded to the cloud. He can automate this with a batch save. He just selects his local design folders and assigns them to the appropriate cloud space. SolidWorks takes care of the rest. As the Nemo sub design evolves, the team must respond to change orders quickly. Debbie logs into her session and sees a message from Eric requesting a change. A quick keyword search shows several results. This one looks right. Debbie uses the 3D annotation tools to quickly sketch out a couple ideas. From here, she opens the part in SOLIDWORKS. The latest version is automatically retrieved from the cloud. Before she makes any changes, it's best to do a where used search. The hand wheel is used in one sub-assembly below the master hatch assembly. She can open that right into her modeling session and get to work. This version of the sub-assembly is released. In order to make changes, Debbie needs to create a revision of the assembly and the hand wheel. The status indicators immediately show that the current assembly structure is out of date. So she replaces it with the new revisions and sets them to reserved. This gives her right access to the items she needs to modify without locking other users out of the rest of the assembly. The redesigned hand wheel looks great, but she needs to update the drawing. The shared bookmarks give Debbie quick access to the related drawing files. The drawing is now in sync with the part model, so she saves it to revision B then sets the part and drawing to a frozen state so they can be reviewed. Returning to the assembly, she finishes out the design by adding the latch mechanisms and saves the new revision back to the cloud.
In order to meet their tight deadline, the Nemo team often needs to work on the same design files at the same time. Eric is working on a new revision of the master hatch assembly. These icons let him know Debbie has the hand wheel assembly reserved and is currently making changes. He can reserve the top level assembly without affecting Debbie's work on the sub assembly. This modular approach to access control allows users to design concurrently without accidentally saving over each other's progress. A short time later, Eric sees that Debbie has finished up. He just needs to reload the latest version of the subassembly from the server. Taking a look at the hand wheel drawing, he likes her redesign and moves it to released. Back in the assembly, Eric attaches the connecting rod mechanisms, then returns to his bookmarks to update the drawing. Bumping the assembly and drawing to revision B, he's ready to save. The revised hatch assembly requires new versions of the supporting documents. From the convenience of his bookmarks tab, Eric uploads the latest version of the composer file and uses the interactive preview to inspect the latest revision. Out-of-the-box cloud data management enabled the Nemo team to be productive right away. They were able to safely store their data, manage changes, and design concurrently, all without ever leaving their familiar SOLIDWORKS design environment. Everyone in the organization benefits when you connect SOLIDWORKS to the 3D Experience platform.